has a passion for assisting the less fortunate, she's also an activist. She's moved by people who do things to help others. And she's also working with the youth. And she makes sure that the projects that she deals with have an impact for everyone. Mabibi Namabwana, Honorable Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, let's warmly welcome Ms. Wambita Makamba. was supposed to be Dr. Finella Mukangara, but I hear she's not here, but she has a representative from the Ministry of Information, Youth, Culture and Sports. No, it's okay. So uh, the no, representative, okay. you are the guest of honor tonight, the Director of Culture, um, distinguished members of Parliament. I see Mohammed Deji here somewhere and Mr. January Makamba. Um, distinguished members of Diplomatic Corps, members of the press, invited guests ladies and gentlemen a very good evening to you all and thank you very very much for coming tonight every moment every day things happen around us and things happen to us all things that happen are often the same to all people with similar consequences what is different is how we choose the impact of the things that happen in our lives to be. 15 years ago, Flaviana Matata, a beautiful young woman who has brought all of us here this evening, was her mother on the MV Bukova accident. She was still very young, but that moment changed her life forever. She knew then, still as a young woman, that she had a role to play. She realized how precious life is and how important conservation of life in any form is. She was still a young woman in Shinyanga, but her life had been changed. In 2007, Flaviana became Miss Universe Tanzania and went on to represent our country in the Miss Universe pageant and was ranked sixth overall. What an incredible achievement that was. From the first girl from Tanzania to participate, and on top of that, the first ever girl to participate in the Muse, Miss Universe page, pageant globally with a shaved head. <laughs> Indeed, Flaviana <laughs> had something within her that emanated success in a much bigger role. She still had that dream. Fast forward, 2011. Flaviana has become one of the top black models on the world stage. She has won numerous awards and is shining on the fashion stage in South Africa, in London, Milan, Paris, and New York, where she's currently based. I, I just returned recently from New York, and for me, it was a shocker walking around you know, the street and seeing shops with Flaviana Matata on top. Can you imagine that? And she's from my country, she's my girl, and she's bold. That was amazing. It was a really good feeling. Flaviana still has that dream the dream to impact lives of the less privileged in her quest to still preserve life. Throughout her career as a model, she has worked as an angel ambassador for Diamond Empowerment Fund run by the popular designer Russell Simons. And of course, as we all know, for Tanzania Matindo House, which owns an orphanage center with AIDS infected children. And I wanted to have you here today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, Flaviana still has that dream. She realized now. She has a much bigger voice, more strength, and enough support to fulfill it in a way she envisaged it 15 years ago when she lost her mother in the Bukoba accident. My friend Ruga in Mutahaba, where is Ruga? Ruga, can you come, come, come?
Ruge and I are extremely honored, uh, first, to know this incredible young woman, and second, to work with her in realizing and achieving the Flaviana Matata Foundation dream. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we all have a dream through her. One of my favorite poets, author and a visionary, Khalil Gibran, Gibran once said, you give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. Ladies and gentlemen, I represent to you, Flaviana Matata. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ruge Muhutahaba. Thank you, Monvita Makamba. Thank you, Flaviana, for getting us here together. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the evening still carries on. But first, I'd like to tell a little bit about Flaviana Matata and the idea for her foundation. As you've heard, um, Monvita Makamba is the trustee of the foundation. But also, it's good for us to know that ever since that Flaviana has been out of the country, she has met with so many other models who she came to know are actually embracing doing something in their own home countries. And Flaviana's passion is actually to do this. And so she never felt ready until this time. And now that she lives outside of Tanzania, she's well aware that she's got a lot of support coming in from the different countries that she's visiting. And she said, this is the only way that I can give back to my own home country, Tanzania. And... Um, as much as people recognize Tanzania because of, say, Mount Kilimanjaro, as much as people recognize Tanzania because of the Ngorongoro Crater, as much as people recognize Tanzania because of the Serengeti, I think Flaviana Matata has been an ambassador, and not just a beautiful face, but has been also an ambassador in trying to portray Tanzania as one of the countries that you can reckon with. And that's how she's put Tanzania in the international front. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say again, here is another round of applause for Flaviana Matata in what she's trying to do in terms of putting Tanzania onto the map. And she decided that she'd like to help NGOs, some that are already established and others that are still new in the world of NGOs here in Tanzania. And with that said, she decided to help two NGOs. One of them is known as Comfort International. And so I'd like to call upon Mr. Badala Musada, who's the acting CEO of Comfort International. Please, if I could have you here so you can tell us a little bit more about Comfort International. Um, and so we can know why Flaviana chose you and she says the only reasons that she did this is because the NGOs are credible, they are legit, and she wanted to actually help them. Um, calling up for Mr. Badula Msada. Karim Msada. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, ministers, ambassadors, uh, 